Hi guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how I take down my mini braids. So what I'm applying right now is a mixture of my leave-in conditioner and two growth oils. And this is just to make sure that my hair is a moisturized and not too dry for the takedown. I actually use this mixture quite often as a moisturizer for my everyday use and uh, the reason why I have the growth oils is to help with my dry scalp and one of them actually specifically targets dry scalp issues. I'm so in love with this applicator bottle because of the nozzle that it has. It really makes it so easy to apply the product into the braids and not just at the openings of the braids. So you can buy yourself one at any drugstore or any fibrin store. I bought mine at Mambo's. It's a manufacturing company that just has a ton of um, plastic and glassware products. After generously applying the product, like generously, <laughs> um, I am semi-massaging my scalp, you know, like spreading the products throughout, trying to coat each and every strand. But to be honest, I'm really just like scratching my head. Like, yo, it is itchy. <laughs> but anyway, after that, I'm just putting on a plastic cap just so to um, create a bit of condensation so a little bit of heat is going to rise and it's going to make sure that my hair is nice and moisturized and then after that maybe a couple of nap or after errands i can then take down my hair and it will still be moisturized because of the condensation that happened with the plastic cap At this point, I was regretting my life. <laughs> Many braids, no more. Wow, like this process was so rigorous. Like it took so long to take down these uh, mini braids. And I don't think I'm ever gonna do it again. So I just put in another video where I actually put in mini twists. Those are so much better to take down and like quite a um, fast process in putting it in and taking down the style so I would definitely suggest that you do mini twists and not mini braids because yo, it's really not worth it like at all at all and finally the last one was out and I couldn't help myself but scratch but I would suggest that you use your palms like the palm of your fingers is that what you call it like yeah use the pad of your fingers instead of your nails to scratch do as I say not as I do <laughs> just don't ask me why <laughs> um, so I was lazy to kind of um, detangle my hair right away so I just put it in a few like four sections of braids just so it can fit into the shower cap 
why I don't I was just yeah to create more condensation maybe and like have more moisture so that when I am ready to um, detangle my hair I don't have to reapply like a ton of product again so um, yeah so this is me just like putting it away before detangling it maybe in an hour two hours later when I've rested after a very very long takedown of these goddamn mini braids So basically this is how I detangle my hair pretty much all the time like after a wash, after a takedown of a style or just like prepping it for another style that I'm going to put on and what I do is just like try and section it out so that it's easier to work with and I always start at the ends and work my way up, make, work my way to the roots so I don't just like start raking up from the root to the end, I start from the end. And once I'm done with um, the white tooth comb, I take my tangled teaser and just brush out the hair one more time to make sure that I can take out as much tangles as I can. And then after that, I'm going to braid that section or like put it away just so it doesn't tangle again after the hard work of detangling it. Um, you can get this brush, was it, tangled teaser <laughs> at Take A Lot. Um, they do sell them in bulk and buying them in bulk is actually quite cheaper but then you have to have friends or someone that you can share those braids with um, so yeah take out I just wanted to point out um, on how I'm holding my hair like every time I'm combing I try and hold the hair just so it, there's less uh, pain and tension that I'm um, creating so if I'm holding the ends while combing them out I'm not really feeling it on my scalp as much so it makes um, combing my hair quite um, I mean not pleasant but like less painful than it normally would to just like comb your hair without um, holding it that way The reason why I'm detangling my hair before washing it is because like I've had it in um, those braids for quite a long time and so I'm just like trying to take out as much shaded hair out and as much um, tangles as I can get and here I'm just illustrating how I'm gonna wash it I'm not really like scrunching it to the base of my scalp I'm just like 
really gently washing my scalp and then residue from the shampoo will just fall onto my ends so i'm not really like raking it or scrunching it up to create more tangles so after washing i'll probably have less tangles to work with but you do need to detangle your hair after washing it obviously preferably when you have the conditioner on or when you have um, a leave-in conditioner on and yes that is all the hair i lost <laughs> this was before i washed my hair i had taken down um, the twists and this was i think a day or two after i had washed my hair and as you can see it's already in like um, large sections of twists that means that i had already detangled it after washing it and so now i'm just applying am i applying <laughs> i'm making a mini twist um, as a protective as my next protective style because i really loved the mini braids like it just made my life easier waking up going to sleep and all of that jazz and just like applying products and it helped with um my scalp so um instead of doing mini braids and regretting my life again i just thought i can like put in a mini twist and i'm gonna show you a few styles well three um styles that you can do with um, these mini twists It really has been such a game changer in my life right now like mini twists are gonna be my life so easy to put in so easy to take down and it's just like you know easy life easy 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 life In all honesty, no matter what your length is, you can do so much with mini twists. You can just put them down. They look so much like locks or dreadlocks, and so you can just play with that. Um, braid them in any style. Put it under like cute little scarf. Like just so much easier to your life. So I really hope that um, this inspired you to do mini twists and to hell with mini braids <laughs> i hope that's what you take away from this video and i do hope that you tune in next time thanks for watching bye